Oh my god, this feels so weird. I haven't been vlogging for a very long time, but now I'm back. I must admit that I don't even know how to vlog anymore. This just feels weird. But welcome back and welcome to 2022, the first vlog of 2022. And that actually also felt very weird. 2022. It's like the first time I say it out loud. So I'm in Rome, I just parked my car and now I'm gonna go and meet up two of my friends to go on a workout class and I'm really excited about it. I feel so energized and it's actually weird because it's quite early for me to be up at 9 on a Saturday but I am and it just feels so good. But now we gotta go. Are you excited? Yes, but it's super fucking cold. I met you at the wrong time Then you caught me on that one night Girl, I wanna know How this thing get out of my controls Zip line into your timeline Hey, that body don't lie I didn't care for the hype Yeah, but when I saw you tonight Ooh, girl Dai Sto morendo No, dai Uno meglio How did it feel? Crazy, my abs are dead. I am dead. Martina is dead. She just told me she's gonna go to sleep. And, yes, uh, and that's it for the whole day. Are you gonna come back? Yes. Are you yes. mad Hopefully. at me? No, I'm not mad, but I need espresso now. <laughs> You're so Italian. Yes. <laughs> You want to tell me something? What do you mean, my eyebrows? <laughs> what have you done to your eyebrows? I was gonna trim them. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in here. But I went a bit too short. A bit too short? I would say a lot too short. Look here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did you do it? It wasn't my intention to do it. It just happened. But you didn't double check. What do you mean double check? Like the trimmer. No. no. When you do something, you do it. Or, or, you may don't. or maybe you check first. No, never. Do you like your eyebrows? I love them. Are do you, you like satisfied? It? Yep. Okay, good. That's the most important part. I know. Yes. Do you like them? Uh, I would say that when I look at you, I just want to start laughing. Yes. But do you love me less? No. No, so that's the point. It doesn't matter what I do, you still love me. Yes, I do. This weather is really unbelievable. So we just had lunch at a really cute little place and it's been so warm. I have this knitted sweater on and I've been sweating a lot and moving from Sweden to this and being able to sit outside in January is just a dream. Before coming here we went to a little market called Mercato Monti and I bought these really pretty vintage Gucci glasses. I'm so in love with them. They're so pretty. We're on our way home to my friends. You actually saw them this morning, Letizia and Martina. We're going um, to their apartment to have like a welcome dinner because they just moved to a new apartment so we're gonna have dinner with them and we've been home now for like two three hours i think we could say that we're both really tired it's an understatement <laughs> yes so my plan before heading there is to put on some good music to get the energy up and i have a song on my mind do you know which one which song usually puts me in a really good mood? Oh, Dio. <laughs> Driving in Italy. Ah, uh, this song? Oh my god, I get so happy when I hear it. I don't think we've told you that when we were in Sweden in November... We got married. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Why do you always make up these really bad jokes? The thing I was gonna say is that we haven't told them that you took your driver license But apparently they saw it because you're driving right now. How does it feel? Absolutely nothing And I can say it feels fantastic because from now on I have a private driver and it feels amazing like I've been driving for so many times during our relationship that from now on I'm never gonna drive again no exactly this feels amazing guys amazing get yourselves a boyfriend or a girlfriend that has a drive license I feel so mean but I can't stop laughing at your eyebrows because when I look from the side it's like you don't have any eyebrows <laughs> That's good, no? <laughs> no. There's less hair to take care of. Oh my god, no. Imagine how you, you much look, time... I, I, I feel really mean, but you look terrible. Okay, but... Uh, but okay. I still love you. But the thing is, imagine how much time you girls lay down on your eyebrows. Okay, so you're saying that... I, shave them off. That I should just shave them. Absolutely. <laughs> Lambrusco. Letizia, si. what are you cooking? I'm cooking pasta alla norma, which is a, a Sicilian recipe. You take eggplants, you cut them, fairly odd number of, uh, of eggplants and uh, <laughs> fairly like the same size and shape. As you can see, none of them are the same size and shape. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm not very good at cutting. And then you put them a little bit in a little bit of water with salt for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Then you take out the water, you fry the oil, and then you fry eggplants and... Uh, Are you a proud Sicilian? They. <laughs> mafia. <laughs> Pizza and mafia. <laughs> and pasta la norma. Absolutely. Do you know what you're doing? Or should I help you? No, I don't know what I'm doing and I don't want your help, so... <laughs> She's making Sicilian pasta, so you yeah, so wouldn't be so able... That's, so that's what I'm saying. Do you want me to help you? Ah, uh, yeah, because you are Sicilian in your heart, right? No, but I know how to cook. Ah, uh, sure, sure. That's what every man says. And then... And then what? So Letizia, my Sicilian friend, very important. She made this amazing pasta la norma, which is my favorite pasta. So I'm really happy. Mm. I'm really happy you're happy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so good. I just woke up and it's quite late it's already 11 o'clock but I went to bed really late last night so I really needed to sleep in and today it's my favorite day of the week it's Sunday and I just love Sundays just because Sundays for me are about chilling relaxing and just being home I'm quite an introvert person, so I really enjoy having a day off where I can literally just stay home the entire day if I want to. And then I also like to prepare myself for a new week, like planning the coming week, what's, what's happening, what's coming, what do I need to do, what would I like to do, and you know, stuff like that. So I'm so happy about that it's Sunday. And uh, now I'm just gonna start a workout class uh, with the Pilates class. I started working out with the Pilates class last week and I'm really enjoying it. Um, now I'm doing their January challenge. So today I'm gonna do the 31 minute Pilates boxing class, which seems really intense, but it's gonna be fun. I enjoy their classes and I really like that they're mixing like high intensity workouts with low intensity and they really have something for everyone so if you want to start working out from home you should really check them out but now i'm gonna start this class
that was tough guys <laughs> before starting off this day i'm just gonna do a quick meditation i'm using the headspace app and i've been using it now regularly for almost a month and i noticed a really big difference on my mindset mostly but also on my mood so this has become a really nice morning routine of mine i'm having andy as a teacher and i really love his voice it's so just calming and soft so i'm gonna put this on it's a day 22. i wonder how you got on yesterday actually remaining aware remaining mindful throughout the day No, I haven't showered yet, but please don't judge me. I wanted to show you some new pieces that I ordered from Sandro because I got them yesterday and I haven't had time to try them on and I really like Sandro's clothes and I really like their quality too, but they're a bit expensive. But I got all of these pieces on their sale for like 40% off. So it was a really good bargain and Hopefully all of the pieces are gonna fit because they're really really nice. So first out I ordered a matching set with a little crop top and a skirt and hopefully if everything goes well me and Adam are going on vacation in February so hopefully this will fit and be a perfect vacation outfit then I ordered a matching white jogging set so it's a white sweater quite simple a white crop top and a pair of white joggers and these ones have two pockets on the back and then they're totally straight so I'm gonna try these pieces on and uh, to see if they fit and hopefully I don't have to send anything back but we'll see in the kitchen right now and I'm actually going to try to do a cottage cheese bread that my sister usually does I've never done it myself but I'm gonna try today so what I need is four eggs oat flour cottage cheese baking soda a bit of salt and if you wanna add you can add some nuts and stuff so I bought like uh, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds that I'm gonna put into this bread. Oh, okay. I've set the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. And now I just guess I need to mix all of these things into a dough.
the bread is ready or hopefully it's ready it looks good Ay. but I don't know like because the bread got so thick because my form is a little bit too little but I mean I guess it's ready it's a little bit doughy on the fork but I don't know what do you think I think it looks good no but like do you see what I mean you should stick your finger in there no <laughs> but do you see what I mean yeah do you think it needs to be in the oven for like some more minutes it also has to set no should I wait then should yeah. I let it cool down yeah the top is nice we'll see if not, you have to make a new bread. No, definitely not. I'm not going to do a new bread. Let's try the bread out. It was good. Was it? Yeah. Very nice. You should definitely try it at home. I, I don't know if it was because I had a little form, but I had my bread in the oven for like one hour and 10 minutes and the recipe said like 45 minutes so I guess like you have to check your bread um, once in a while to see if it's ready Wow, this light is really awesome. Okay, but well, we shouldn't be complaining about the sun. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, since we moved to Italy, I would definitely say our life has, like the life quality has increased. The quality of life. <laughs> life quality. Quality of life. Life quality. Quality of life. <laughs> You're wrong. No. I'm gonna check this out. Ha! You can say it. Okay, quality of life. <laughs> okay. No, but like, I would definitely say it has increased since we moved to Italy. Like, because of the weather. Yeah, it has improved a lot since we moved. I mean, it's, the, it's November and it's 15 degrees outside. January, you mean, not November. Did I say November? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you today? <laughs> okay. Let's start over. The thing I wanted to say was that <laughs> our quality of life has improved a lot since moving to Italy. Absolutely. <laughs> because of the weather. That's what. <laughs> Not only because of the weather, but the way of living. Yeah, but also like being able to have sun in January. Like in Sweden, that would <laughs> not happen. But here, we just sat outside uh, on the beach having lunch and we took a long walk with Frank on the beach. It was a bit windy today, but still really awesome weather. It's 15, 15 degrees Celsius. Yeah. I know I said it like on Saturday when we had lunch outside that it felt like a dream and like I'm constantly talking about weather, but that's because we're Swedish and we're really obsessed with the weather since it's so bad in Sweden. <laughs> In the in winter time, yeah. Yeah. So the biggest difference is not only like the weather, but how you live your life here. Yeah, definitely. Like you don't stress in Italy ever. They don't know what stress is. Maybe in North Italy, but not in Rome. Yeah, but that's not Italy. <laughs> you want to talk to? What do you have to say? <laughs> yes. Okay. He approves. And also this morning I had brunch with an Italian friend at a really nice brunch spot. It's called, I don't know how to pronounce it, Coromandel. Coromandel. Okay, whatever. But it's actually quite difficult to find good brunch places in Rome. I would definitely say that this one is a really good spot for brunch. Yes. So that was just... That was us checking in for the day. For the day. Yeah, but it was just like a little advice 
if you're going to Rome? Were you tired of talking? That's why you started to no, drive. No, I was just tired of something. You were tired of me. And I also need to It's know. a beautiful day! I also need to go to the bathroom. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to start driving now before... What the oh. fuck was that? Uh, I, I um, stole some water <laughs> from the restaurant. No, I didn't stole it. We actually mm. paid for it. You didn't steal it? No, like we didn't finish the water, so then I brought it with me because... Is it Finnish, the water, or is it Swedish? It's Italian. Oh, okay. Ah. So I brought it with me. Did we say anything good at all? Yeah, we're it talking... It seemed like I didn't make any sense at all. Yeah, you did. <laughs> You're talking about quality of life. Quality of life. The quality of life in Italy is very good. And also, walking on the beach in the afternoon is also really good. It's good for the mind, body and soul. Do you have any other life advice? Yeah, I was gonna say something but I can't say it. Say it. Don't get an Italian girl. <laughs> so, if you don't see them in a vlog anymore, you know why. <laughs> we also have to talk about the state of the roads in Italy. If you're gonna get a car in Italy, get a Jeep, or a monster truck, or something with good suspensions. Look, 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 look at the roads. <laughs> <laughs> look, you filmed the roads? <laughs> this is like, we're not... I don't know if you see it, but you definitely will notice from my filming. <laughs> because it's gonna be like this. You have to have a off-road vehicle if you're gonna drive in Rome. Yes. Or in Italy, in general. The roads. <laughs> like, they made Fiat uh, 500 for Italy, uh. but it doesn't cope well with the roads. And also a very good thing about Italy. When you talk a lot today. Yeah, of course. Yeah, tell me. Tell us. The people need to hear me talk. Okay. One of the best things about oh Italy, my God. Uh. and I know you love this too, is that uh, they fill up the gas for you. They don't do it in Sweden. No. Oh, that's so nice. It's the best thing ever. You just like, you just like pull in your car at the gas station, you just say if you want to have like full tank or half tank or whatever and they just do it for you I mean, why don't they have it in Sweden when it's fucking minus 17? No, you need to go out and like freeze your ass off and be like Yes, that's uh, something you say a lot in the traffic in Italy <laughs>